My name's Chris McQueer, I'm 26 and I'm an author from the East End of Glasgow. When I was a kid, I kind of, I dabbled in writing a wee bit, but I was, I was, I was, I was terrible. <laughs> I was a labourer for a while, I was like fixing ceilings. I got a job in a sports shop. I was a hairdresser for a while. Well, I've been a crime scene cleaner, cleaning these manky houses and cleaning up after dead bodies and cleaning up the blood after people had been stabbed and stuff. It was, it was horrific, but at the same time, it was brilliant. Being exposed to all these kind of quite horrific situations, like as horrible as it sounds, and like gives you a lot of inspiration. It gives you a lot of ideas for stories, which is quite good. Trying all these different things and failing so many times at umpteen jobs and careers, like. You know, it's all kind of worked out in the end. Writing is the first thing that I've found in my life that I'm actually good at. But I've never been good at anything before. I just feel so lucky that I get to do it for a living now. Two years ago, I was going through a kind of bit of a difficult period in my life. I lost my flat, I had to move back in with my mum. I was just hating my job. Then my dog died and I was gutted. I was a bit depressed, I wasn't really going out or anything. I wasn't, wasn't seeing my pals and stuff. I was phoning in sick to work all the time. One of the things that kind of pulled me through that wee period was writing. I thought I'm going to try and write a kind of daft short story. I was really worried about people were going to think of me. Because I just thought this story is really weird. People are just going to think I'm some kind of weirdo. It took me ages to finally show people my work because it's like bearing, bearing your soul to people, you know what I mean? You're letting them see like, the inner workings of your mind. And eventually I just kind of worked up the cows and I said to my mum, look, look I've, I've written a short story. Do you want to have a wee look at it? And she read it and she said it was brilliant. And that gave me the confidence to just keep writing. I started putting my work online. I got asked to go and read, read out some of my work for the first time. I'd never done that before. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know you could go on stage and read out short stories. I was really worried about going through to do it. I was going through with my mum and my girlfriend. But I had to have like four cans of beer, like on the train through to just try and like settle my nerves. I went on stage and I read out my story and I got loads of laughs and it was brilliant. I felt amazing. It's just that was one of the best moments of my life, like coming off, coming off stage, there was applause and people laughing. After that, I was lucky enough, publishers were in the room and they said, you know, do you have enough short stories to make a book, basically? I was like, aye, here they're here. Like, next thing I knew, I was through to Edinburgh signing a book deal. Just couldn't believe it, that, that kind of thing. That's not meant to happen to people like me, do you know what I mean? It's the best, best thing in the world, best job in the world. I get up in the morning and I go to my computer and I just sit and write daft stories. It's amazing. Like, <laughs> How is this real life? How is this happening to me?